Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make this amazing high growth oil only containing just a few ingredients. So if you're interested, definitely be sure to keep on watching. So to begin with, we are going to use some fresh aloe vera. Now this one here is actually um, frozen um, from fresh. That's why it looks like this. Um, I usually would freeze my aloe vera if I'm not to use it um, straight away and essentially I'm just going to defrost it and then go ahead and use it. It will still have all of its nutrients when you store it this way or you can extract the gel and essentially freeze and you know and defrost and use essentially. So we're going to cut up the aloe vera into smaller pieces just like I did here. Now we're going to go in next with some avocado. Now you want to use a ripe avocado the riper it is the better um, for this recipe so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the avocado again into smaller pieces and then put it in the same bowl that I have the aloe vera in now both these ingredients are super super nourishing for your scalp and hair and they do help in a lot in also promoting um, hair growth now they contain a lot of vitamins and antioxidants which help a lot in that process. Now once we've done this we're just going to go ahead and use um, a hand blender um, just to blend this up until it's nice and smooth. You can use a regular blender for this if you want to but I find a hand blender so much easier especially if you're working with smaller quantities. Okay guys so this is it all blended here. Now I'm going to go in next with some rosemary. Now rosemary is super super beneficial when it comes to healthy hair and scalp and it also helps in promoting high growth. Um, now if you don't have this it's fine to completely leave it out but if you do I suggest that you do use it. Um, now I'm going to go in with some coconut oil. And the reason why I'm using coconut oil is because of the next process, um, which I'm going to show you guys um, in a little bit. Um, but if you're allergic to coconut oil or you just don't like coconut oil altogether, it's fine to just leave it out. Now you can also substitute these oils for whatever oil that you choose to use. So I used about two um, tablespoons of coconut oil. Now I'm going to go in next here with some cold pressed rapeseed oil. Um, now again this is super great when it comes to um, making you know DIY oils because it's resistant to heat um, which we're going to apply to this later on now if you're substituting these oils I'll suggest that you do make sure that you're, you're not using an oil like olive oil for example which will um, probably oxidize if you export if it's exposed to heat for a prolonged period of time so use something that is a bit more heat resistant so I'm going to pop this in, um, in, a, in a little pot essentially and then I just put it on the stove and fry it for just a little bit. Now you know it's done when the, the rosemary has turned from that bright green to that sort of darker green colour. Now we're going to go ahead and extract our oil. Now feel free to use anything you have available to do this. Um, you know you can use a stocking cap or a wig cap or any other thing you've got really. Okay guys, so this is our oil here, nice and ready. I just love, love, love the colour, like literally. It's got this really rich green colour and it is super, super good for your hair. Um, so I do hope that you go ahead and try this out. And if you do guys, let me know what you think of it. It is, yes, yeah, super, super amazing. Um, so I'm just transferring it here to this jar so I can use the store. Now I forgot to mention guys, it's fine to use any essential oil of your choice if you want to um, it's absolutely fine as well in this recipe now in this part of the video I'm just going to show you how I'm using it and just talk a little bit more about how you can um, also use it now there's so many ways in which you can use this oil and um, you can use it as a hot oil treatment if you want to you can just simply apply to the thin areas that you may have and perhaps you're looking to regrow your hair from. Um, you can also use it as a sealant 
which is what I will be doing um, in today's video. Now my hair just needs a bit of moisture essentially so um, to sort of re-moisturize my hair what I'm using here is one of my DIYs um, leave-in conditioner um, I'm yet to share that with you guys so don't worry a video is coming up perhaps after this one um, just showing you guys how I made this um, conditioner it is really really simple and it contains only one ingredient um, so essentially I'm just working that through my roots and also the ends of my hair just making sure that it's nice and covered essentially now i'm just going to take the oil and just go ahead and apply it just to seal the moisture now notice i stirred a little bit uh, before using because when you let this all sit around um it sort of settles a little bit at the bottom and it's fine to just you know just stir a little bit before you use and also you see that bright green color we had initially uh, when we first made the oil after it sat around for a little bit um it does sort of turn into slightly sort of darker green color um but it doesn't mean that your oil has gone off or anything it's still as um, nutritious for your hair as when we just made it essentially so essentially yeah you, i'm just applying this throughout and then i'm using a white tooth comb just to comb my hair detangle and after that guys i'm just going to go ahead and twist and then move on to the next section and repeat until my hair is completely done just like i said before it's okay to use this um you know on board patches if you do have any or if you're um just washing your hair and you're looking for an oil you can do hot oil treatment with this would be a, a really good option as well because it contains some really really good nutrients that will help to stimulate hair growth for you um, so if you enjoyed the video so far guys, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I would really really appreciate it. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out sun is shining but the rain is welcome too friends are nearby don't need another view time is not on my mind but then it's you oh i love it when the love comes around and then i remember all things must pass but I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet Whoa, no, not yet Now, in case you're wondering how often you should be using this It clearly just depends on what you're using it for If you're using it as a hot oil treatment I guess you probably would use it only uh, maybe once every four weeks depending on how often you wash your hair But if you're using it as a sealant, then I guess you probably can use it a bit more often Or a hair growth oil then you may need to use it a bit more often again So that could be twice a week or even three times just depending on your hair essentially and then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up no, no, no. Now guys, unfortunately, I'm not going to show you how I do my entire head because otherwise the video would be very long, just like you can imagine. Um, but this is the one that I did earlier and you can see how that uh, my hair is looking super, super moisturized right now. It's also very, very shiny. Now it gets even shinier when the hair dries out. Um, so yeah, I really really love this. I hope that you can go ahead and try this oil and let me know what you think about it Or if you tried it before let me know what you think Um yeah, and this is it for me today. I really really um, Hope that you've enjoyed watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not ready and I'll catch you next time. Bye I'm not gonna wake up.